Okay, Coach Cook, uh, Wayland Baptist, right now the second college program in uh, the state of Texas. Actually, you guys have a club program that's starting to add, and they're starting to get into the swing of things. But right now, the only NAIA you know, scholarship program in the state of Texas. Number one. Yeah, right? <laughs> and in, in, in Texas, as we all know, it's, it's the second largest state, right? It goes California, Texas, as far as population, yeah, right? right? And then um, land area-wise, it's massive as well. <laughs> um, where is Wayland Baptist? Is it in the Panhandle? Yeah, so Panhandle, right in between Amarillo and Lubbock. Uh, so 45 minutes to Lubbock hour to Amarillo. Okay, so you're, is, it, is that on the Cap Rock? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, Cap Rock's really close to there. That, uh, there's Cap Rock Canyon, and then there's also Paladero Canyon, which is like, the second biggest canyon in the United States. Are you serious? Yeah, in Texas? That, People yeah. don't know that. Nobody knows, right? It's right. one of those hidden gyms. Okay, when you guys look at, you know, recruiting guys, right, right. girl, you have a girls team as well. Right, yeah, yeah. Recruiting people to Texas, is it a hard sell for you guys up in the Panhandle? Not, I don't, I don't think so. You know, I think uh, our location leads to some good things. You know, we're, we're in a small town, so it's a little bit away from distractions. But there's also, like I said, Palo Duro Canyon's an hour away in Amarillo. Uh, Lubbock and Texas Tech is 45 minutes, so you can you can kind of experience both sides of it. You know, and so we we actually like our location. When you guys are looking for recruits here, when you're looking for, well, there, there were girls here last year. There were like four girls yeah. from Georgia who, they were scrappers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but right now it's all guys this year. Right, what are you guys right. looking for and what do you want to bring to Wayland Baptist? Yeah, so, you know, the big thing that, that I look for in things like this is how they respond to adversity. You know, when they, everybody's going to get taken down. But if you're going to lay there on your belly and, and for 30 seconds after you get taken down, then you're probably not going to be a successful wrestler at Wayland. So when we're looking for people, we want people that bounce back and if they get taken back, they're coming back with fight in them. You know, they, they want to push the pace. They want to, you know, they want to really score a lot of points and not necessarily just worrying about the scoreboard, but just battle every second. Looking at, you know, NAIA, it's competitive. Right. There's a lot of really good, right. you know, teams in NAIA, and it's, it's constantly adding. Some right. people transition from NAIA to D2, D3, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, usually D2. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you look at NAIA, what do you think about your competition level and your guys' schedule? You're kind of out there, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, so you got to drive. You got to travel, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's you know that's a unique thing about our because we're away from things, uh, we travel more. But it also kind of lends to we get to experience some different things. You know, we get to go to Indiana, we go to Oklahoma, we go to Missouri, and so um, because we're going to travel far anyways, we get to kind of. We have a good travel budget. We're able to go out and, and get some some good experience in different places that you probably wouldn't go if you were just a non wrestler, you know. And so, um, you know, I think I, th I think that we have a very competitive schedule, and and, and so we're th you know this is a great building time for us. We're you know we just brought in the best recruiting class the school's ever had. Um, you know we're we have some good guys coming back and coming back from uh, injuries and things like that. So we're I, th I think that we're going to be a really competitive program this year.